Hi, in this video I'm going to be fitting roof bars to my Mazda Bongo. On a standard Mazda Bongo, the roofs have attachment points where you can already put a roof rack. Um, on my van, it's actually a slightly different story. I've got an aftermarket roof, so this used to be a tin top van and they fitted a new fiberglass roof. So I'm going to have to fit my own fixing points on this. Um, as you can see on this picture, I have no bars on at the moment, but they're going to go behind the solar panel just here. So. I've got some old roof bars from my old Ford C-Max, which is a beautiful looking car just here, as I'm sure you'll agree. So these were Monabo roof bars, and I'm just going to adapt these to actually fit the bongo. So I've just kind of placed them on at the moment just to see the uh, distancing and see what the spacing. I've gone for a 700 millimeters. Um, this seemed to be pretty standard on the internet, so I've gone with that for like if I wanted to put a roof box on there. So I'm just checking the spacing here just to see if I can get it absolutely spot on. So they do sit on the channels, so this isn't going to sort of drill into the inside of the tent. Um, so I'm just marking the holes. And it's a pretty simple process, this. There's not a lot to it. So I'm just drilling out the holes to accommodate the, the original bolts that I got with the roof rack, so I know everything's going to be pretty secure. So you just got to go along and draw them. Now what I'm going to do here is a gratuitous butt shot, so that's got that out of the way is I'm going to recycle an old shelf bracket that I've got because I want to put on some really big plates underneath the roof rack so it doesn't have little tiny washers, it has really big plates so it doesn't pull back through the fiberglass roof so as you can see these are going to be far sturdier than washers so I'm pretty happy with these so I just need to drill out the centres so they'll accept the, uh, the bolts I'm going to lock thread these nuts on there and as you can see those are pretty big, pretty big plates, so that should stay on there pretty well. So I've actually secured the whole roof rack on, and as you can see here, I've actually made a couple of little forward-facing bars, and they literally slide up and down. They were, I made them out of some tent poles, and um, yeah, it's actually worked out really well. And this is us actually on holiday using the roof bars for the first time. The, I actually literally finished it the day before we went on this holiday. So I was able to carry all the chairs, boogie boards and a toilet tent, which is really handy. Now, one thing I didn't like was the fact they were silver. So at this point, I've sprayed all the bars black as well as the solar panel just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. So as you can see here, those are the sliding bars that I made. Now this is actually a year later than when I actually fitted them. So this is during the, the uh, coronavirus pandemic. So we just I just sort of had something to do. As you can see, I've sprayed the solar panel. And it looks really nice now. They don't stand out at all. So uh, I'm really pleased with those. It's just a matte black um, alloy spray for alloy wheels. So it seems pretty tough and I'm really happy with the result. And uh, yeah, give it a go. As you can see, it sits on those two channels really nicely and it's really easy to do. So give it a go yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.